What's up, guys? We're Disclosure, and you're watching Uncut Miami. I can't really say welcome to Miami because I've only just arrived. I've never uh, been before. Welcome right. to Miami. But welcome Thanks. to Miami. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> well, we just did an American tour. Yeah, we've been home. We've since. been home since now then. We're back. Now right. we've just done a gig in Vegas, and then we had a couple of days off in LA, and now we're here. Was the tour the Wildlife tour? No. Uh, no. So we're doing like the Caracal tour for the album. That's yeah. all the live shows, and, and Wildlife is basically a, a night that we run where we curate the lineup, and also it's a festival in the UK. Yes. Yes. So yes. yeah, if it's ever Wildlife, it's basically Disclosure presents. Ultra. Ultra is happening. It's right happening now. right now. You can over there. You can hear a bit of it. How? Mental, is it? It's, it's mental, yeah. It's, it's definitely, you know, they just go all out. I, the I, main stage yeah. is like like something you, like from a different planet that yeah. you've never seen. It's like a, a spacecraft has landed. The music out here is what's interesting mainly because Ultra is obviously renowned for that kind of thing, Calvin, Tiesto. Yeah. But you know what? It, it's like the music is translating over here now. Yeah. You know, it's great. We've had just so much success out here and you know we haven't had to kind of compromise our music or what we want to do we just kind of do what we want and people seem to like it which is awesome and you know it's led us to the point where we can kind of play in and amongst those people and we don't really step on each other's toes it's not like who's better is it edm or is it house and is it that they're kind of living together now it's all just timing and like what the masses are all doing at the same yeah. time i think yeah so how was the american tour the one we just did in america here was all arenas first arena tour we've ever done started in la ended in new york in um, madison square garden Amazing. Which is crazy, I know. Yeah. To play a venue like Madison Square Garden, yeah. is, that was the last show, so that was kind of the, the peak. That was the most tickets we did, I think. When you were at the Grammys, you're well, looking very, very fashionable. We get given Thanks. very nice suits when we go to the Grammys. Yeah. Well, things like Grammys and Oscars, um, you want to remember that suit. You want to take yeah. that suit home, because yeah. that's good times, that suit. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I want to talk a bit about that. How good was yes. the Grammys? The one just gone was the best. Sam won like four. Yeah. Sam Smith. So um, yeah, we were kind of there. We were up one as well, but we were there to kind of celebrate him. Like we thought he'd win at least one, but yeah. we didn't know he'd win four. He cleaned up. So he cleaned up, and then we all kind of organised this big party at this huge mansion in Beverly Hills. And it was the party. We actually threw the party. Mark Ronson was throwing a party down the road, and even he came. I remember introducing the weekend to Pete Tong. I was like, that's a, <laughs> that's a unique introduction to make. Getting nominated must have been, uh, you know, an amazing. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just three years in a row now. Three yeah. noms in three years is yeah. amazing. Very, yeah. very good at getting nominated for these awards. Yeah, we not, not so good at winning them. Fine. But but once, you've, once you've been nominated, you can say Grammy nominated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's just. But any, any of me awards is slightly different because yeah. you can just be absolutely hammered. That was a good day though, because um, when we won, you know, they start playing your song as you walk up towards the stage to do your speech and stuff. And as we stood up, Paul McCartney stood up next to us and started dancing to the song. And so that was a big moment for yeah. me, yeah. I'm assuming you didn't set out to become pop stars. No, not no. at all. I mean, we still don't really think we are. Music is more famous than us, you know. We can walk down the street and we don't get bothered too much. If we're together, yeah. it's quite quite peak, but like, yeah. if, like I can go to my local shop and, yeah. and I don't get like bothered. Howard probably gets recognised a bit more than me because yeah. everyone thinks he's Daniel Radcliffe. It's how, yeah, they do think I look like Harry Potter. I don't, I don't see it. I don't, I don't see see Even it. now that I'm wearing glasses, I still don't really see it. I think just white guys wearing round glasses do look like Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> you would look like him if you had round glasses. Definitely. Right? Okay, yeah. we're going to play a game. It's called an amazing. It's to do with animals. Oh right. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to ask us to describe each DJ and what animal they are? Is that the is that the game? You are good. Yeah. He's an owl. I'm an owl. You're an owl. Yeah. 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 Guy, what are you? I don't know. What am I? Uh, what you say? I'm, I'm definitely some sort of ape. Um, like a small ape. I tell you what, I'd like yeah. to be one of those monkeys that chills in hot tubs all day. Macaques are they called? Oh yeah. They yeah, sit yeah. in hot springs all day. Seth Troxler. Alpaca. That's yeah, really I'm good. Alpaca. Yeah. yeah, I saw him lean round a corner a few days ago. <laughs> you couldn't see his body at all. No, no, just no. his head. Tiger. A wolf. I was going to say something canine. Yeah. Something, something that roams. He's nighttime. Scream. <laughs> oh. The father of dub dubstep. I've got to be yeah. careful with this um, one. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Giraffe. Giraffe. Yeah. yeah. He does stumble around. He's got around some like good ears. Tiesto. 
Silverback Gorilla, 100%. Oh man, that was fast. This is weird. We actually went to the zoo with Tiesto once. No, we went with him and Diplo to the zoo. Um, Steve Irwin. Irwin. Steve Irwin's zoo. We were like holding koalas with Tiesto all day. Yeah. There's a picture somewhere of me and Tiesto holding a koala like it's our newborn child. <laughs> it's like a family photo. Yeah. All right, last one. Yeah. Martin Garrix. Ultra headliner. Garrix. Is that a small bear cub? Small bear cub. Yeah, like a brown a bear. Small bear. All right, nice one, lads. Well, thanks very much for talking to me. Thanks, bro. Thanks. It's been, it's been interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's been an adventure. Just as the planes go over. Yeah. Hey, have a good time. Will do.